Hello, my name is Satoshi Tateshima, Interventional Neuro Neuroradiology, a professor of Interventional Spine Service. Today, I would like to talk about the vertebral compression fracture and uh, the treatment for it. First, uh, what is vertebral compression fracture? Uh, what's the consequence? Usually, it is chronic pain, severe pain, even taking painkillers, it does not uh, kill the pain. And it affects your mobility, daily activities. But most scary thing is it can reduce your lung capacity and the risk of pneumonia becomes really high. And it could affect your uh, spine alignment for life. So it's, it's very important that uh, you uh, have a treatment, uh, medical or this type of uh, interventional treatment as soon as possible. There are two types of a vertebral compression fracture. First one is the osteoporosis related fracture. Actually, there are uh, 700,000 uh, spinal fractures per year in this country. Another one is pathological fracture. Uh, they are common in patients with uh, metastatic cancer or multiple myeloma. So when we see a patient with a compression fracture, we make a diagnosis first. And there are three types of procedures uh, that we can offer, uh, vertebroplasty, kyphoplasty, sacroplasty. Depending on the location of the fracture, uh, type of fracture, uh, we choose the best one for you. And the way how this procedure works is that uh, the cement uh, is going to be placed into the uh, fracture of the vertebral body, and it can fix the uh, uh, fracture of the bone so that the pain goes away. And also, the cement uh, generates a lot of heat, and it burns the uh, nerve endings that is sending a signal, a pain signal, to your brain. So the uh, effect is actually instantaneous, regardless of the etiology of the fracture. And most importantly, this procedure is indicated for acute fracture. Unfortunately, if it's a chronic fracture, it's aged fracture, this procedure does not work. The best way to tell whether it's acute or chronic is this MRI. You can see that there's a white uh, bright signal here. This is a sign that the fracture is acute. So usually when we see a patient, we offer MRI to make sure it's acute fracture, and also we do not miss any adjacent fractures if there is anything. So this is one of the uh, treatment uh, or procedure we offer vertebral plasty. First, we put the trocars to the affected the vertebral body, and if the location is uh, right, then we inject the cement, and the pain goes away. It's a very simple procedure. This is another procedure, kyphoplasty. If indicated, after uh, trocar is inserted, we insert the balloon and in, we inflate the balloon to create a cavity and also regain the height, which I explain later, and then inject the cement. Then kills the nerve ending and the pain goes away. And here's the example of a, a kyphoplasty gaining the height. By inflating a balloon, not just the creating a cavity, but it can push up the uh, uh, fractured bone to the normal height. We do not do this uh, to all patients, but if indicated, we offer this uh, procedural step. And this is another uh, good uh, indication to inflate the balloon before injecting a cement. For certain patients, we do balloon inflation to make sure that the fracture is acute. You can see that the balloon is not inflating here despite that uh, we try to inflate at 200 PSI, such a high pressure. It does not inflate because this is a chronic fracture. It got healed up. The, so the pain is not from the fracture itself. It may be related to the misalignment. So the cement injection is not going to eliminate the pain, unfortunately, for this patient. Compared to that, you can see that the balloons inflated nicely in this patient. This is a sign that the fracture is acute, so, so the subsequent cement injection is, is going to eliminate the pain completely. And this is our room uh, to perform vertebroplasty, kyphoplasty, and sacroplasty. 
Uh, this is state-of-the-art room. Uh, that this is a multi-million dollar machine. We use this room primarily to fix the uh, brain aneurysms or brain AVMs, but why not? We use this room for relatively large lesion vertebral compression fracture. It's almost like a flying an airliner uh, uh, by yourself with a coach class uh, airfare. And uh, the benef benefit is not just the, uh, the beautiful machine uh, itself. It makes our procedure much safer. Let's say because of the osteoporosis, sometimes it's very difficult for us to see the uh, bony landmarks. But uh, this machine is capable of uh, 3D navigation as needed, and the image quality is excellent. And uh, we are one of those rare programs that uh, uh, we use this machine for kyphoplasty, vertebral plasty, and sacroplasty. So if you have a back pain, if you think you have a vertebral uh, compression fracture, or if you have any back pain, please call us. We are here to help, and I see you in my clinic. Thank you very much.